Hi, welcome back for part three. I've, I've advanced it a bit. I've worked on the branches of the silver birches. I've, I'm just texturing at the moment to see, seeing if I can find some high spots to hit some this. But it's proving a little bit difficult. Although I've done them in the past, I've used either heavy gesso or some texture paste in the trunks. But I'm relying on building up this impasto. Just to catch some some high spots with the dry brush, but then they're not too bad. But what I want to do is to with my hairy brush. Oh, where is it gone? Uh, hairy brush. Anyone seen my hairy brush? There it is. Is to bring some grasses and stuff up around the bases of these trees here, so a bit of the I mean uh, the uh, I was using a viridium wasn't I? So let's just get in some light in there. I want them to look as if they're organic actually growing out of the grass or the foliage anyway. So what I'm going to do really now is put a few leaves on, some autumn leaves and a bit of reflection. I'll put the simple figures in. A bit of shadow around these. Just catching some sunlight. It's coming up here. Same here, a bit of light in there. I'm just mixing a bit of lemon yellow with some white just to highlight these bits here. Some shadow in. So I just just a dark green, mostly black. Uh, right. Okay. Now we're going to just drag over some uh, some lights. With that nice yellow cup, blue red, a plenty of light colour in there. So we just, just drag gently over there. Like after a bit of storm. Right, now we're going to put in some of those reflections from the back. Could be dark enough to show, so let's just show those figures here. Some trees. Uh, and I want some grasses coming up in, in here. Showing a bit of the earth showing through. It's 
good fun this. I'll just get carried away. Well, we won't carry him away. Right, with a rigger. Well, put a few of these, very fine. Lisa Mocha. Just a little bit. Just to mix with the white and the, and the green. Oh, just. Shines of some bits of grass catching the light. Tiny, tiny little strokes. Just a bit of texture, just a bit of detail. Doesn't amount to very much, but it just makes all the difference. Just adds that little bit of reality to it, well, in my opinion. Uh, I figure it's a little bit weak, but now we want to use the big brush for some stipple. So some autumn leaves, just of, we've got some in there. But these silver birches, they're very, very... ...tiny. So there's just a few left over. Dobbed about. Not too many. Just to the ends of the little branches. They're like beautiful trees. Not mine, but, but the actual trees themselves. In reality. Okay. Now we can probably put some some yellow ochre in. On those. Just a few catching the light. Uh, I'm going mad now. Put some of the leaves on there. On here. Here and there, just showing some a little bit of detail. That'll do, that'll do. Let's give it a signature and we'll put it in the mounds. Now we must white, I think, or off white. Right, so is it, well, I was going to do it in two parts, but obviously, you now know it's ended up in three. Right, let's mount. Oops. I had the, uh, my daughter's complaining about my mount, so I do mean to get some. Right, well, I don't know if that would look better if it was up a bit. No, I like the foreground. I quite like it. It's all lost and found. But I reckon we've spent enough time on that. Alas, no birds. 
but it's uh, English. I've changed the title, by the way, from my original Autumn because we've got a bit of autumn in these, but it's just English lands, English woodland. Um, I'm sure we'll have a few poppies. I, I they probably wouldn't, but I don't know. But a bit of artistic license there because they look so nice, August. Just add a couple the other side, I think. A bit more nice, little bit of vermilion. Counter change against the. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. I hope you enjoyed those three videos. Let's bring the camera around and we can have a bit of a study of that. Uh, right, there we are. Let's, let's zoom out. Uh, I'm not sure how I can straighten that up. Uh, I can't, they can never get this right. I, come on guys, how do you do this? Oh, we'll let, we'll let that go. Right, but well, that's the finished picture. Zoom in, let's look at the uh, little figures. Just about showing, because you're going off into sort of a misty, misty morning. And there'd be silver birches. A little more like they're covered in snow, don't they? But anyway, foreground. I suppose we could... What I'll do, I'll just enhance that bit there if I can, quickly. Uh, Just a little bit, a bit more light. Just a little bit catching sunlight. Oh, that do. That that just gives you a bit, a bit more interest in the foreground. It's not a river. It's just, just some, some rainwater left after the storm. Okay, let's zoom out. There we are. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.